the only thing that was lacking in the Stratix build was the AHRS, the combination of sensors. AHRS stands for Attitude and Heading Reference System. So basically these sensors are three axes that provide attitude information for aircraft, including the three, roll, pitch, and yaw. And this was a big deal for a lot of electronic flight books because you would be able to see your position in the air in real time with the Stratus. Well, I'm very excited to show everybody the Stratix AHRS upgrade kit. So it's a little kit. You can get it through Amazon. I'll put the link below here. And it contains three different things. First thing is the little SanDisk adapter. So if you need to do any upgrades, you can do that. The actual SD card with the latest software built into it. So really all you need to do, it's ready to go. You just replace whatever you're using as far as SD card in your Stratix and put this in and you're ready to go. And the most important piece here is the actual sensor. And this guy is small. Uh, everything's pre-soldered for you. You're ready to go with this guy. And I'll show you a little size comparison here if I slide my quarter there. It's extremely small. So what this does is you'll see that there's uh, a little sensor on here and that'll show your attitude information. There's another sensor on here that will also control the fan for you. Um, I'll show you in just a second the wonderful fan noise that comes from these Stratuses. Now, a lot of times you don't need that fan until it reaches a certain temperature. It's loud and also draws power quickly. So with this chip, that'll add that uh, on there as well. So the fan will actually connect directly uh, to here. Now they, saw, um, they sell multiple kits online. I will put the uh, information down below in the description. And you can actually get a kit with all of this on here, ready to go, that includes the memory card, the little adapter, the AHRS, and the case, everything you need to go. So if you don't want to mess around with building one of these, you can still uh, go ahead and just get one right off the internet, pre-built, you put the power on it, and you're ready to go, and you'll still save quite a few hundred dollars. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you first without this uh, component placed on there and then with uh, this component uh, placed on there. So you'll see the, the two worlds there. So this is my Stratix build with the old case. Uh, with the newer ones, it comes with a uh, non-transparent case that's a little bit more rust robust than this one. But without the AHRS component, it has no fan control on there. It's an automatic fan control when you get this uh, piece. And what it will do is it will automatically cut off this fan if it detects the temperature isn't high enough. And again, that uh, reduces the battery consumption and also the noise. Believe it or not, you can still hear this uh, in your aircraft, especially if you have noise canceling headphones for some reason it does not cancel this out um, so if you don't need it uh, on then uh, it will automatically turn it off for you which is great and i'll also show you the difference in the uh, flight uh, in the four flight electronic flight portfolio As far as installation is concerned, it's really a plug and play type thing. So pretty much what you have to do is just push down on these little header pins there. If you've got one that's not pre-installed, um, just push it down on the very first header pin. Make sure you connect the red wire to the plus. If you can see down there, there's a little plus. Make sure that is connected uh, just like that. Now with the older cases, like the one that I have, you have to take the antenna off, but that's pretty simple. You just basically unscrew the antenna um, to make room for this guy. I also noticed that with the older case, the way the um, 
antenna's position, you might need to bend one of these little pins down just a little bit. Uh, what I did was I just took a little screwdriver and just bent it ever so slightly. Uh, that way it doesn't make a uh, connection to the brass antenna fitting here. And here we go, all installed. Now, like I said, all you do is open your case, push this little piece down, make sure the red wire is aligned with the plus, and then if you have an older case, just reconnect the antenna, and that's just merely unscrewing it there. I put the new um, software in there, and what it'll do is it'll run checks. I just turned this on, and as you can see, the fan is not running. It ran just there for a second as it cycles through and boots up, but that's it. Unless it gets a certain temperature, the fan will not turn back on. Um, so that's great. It saves battery power, um, and then also, like I was saying, that noise there. And I will show you now um, the added benefit of having this chip outside of the fan. So this is an actual run with the AHRS module installed in the Stratix. Um, notice that a couple of things you need to keep in mind. Make sure that you recalibrate uh, the Stratix um, using the instructions on the website. I'll include the information below there. I had to do that a couple times throughout the flight there. As you can see from uh, the video right now, I did not calibrate it so you can see I'm uh, pitched down or at least the uh, receiver is showing a pitch down uh, attitude but um, other than that it's uh, it's a little jerky um, of course this should be used as a reference tool uh, mainly not a primary attitude indicator you want to make sure that you have a uh, well functioning attitude indicator in your aircraft uh, I strongly suggest getting a sturdy mount uh, for the Stratix that could help um, exponentially with the recalibration. Uh, having something that is uh, very sturdy to hold your Stratix is um, probably the best way to go with this. Um, and then also you want to sh make sure to continue to uh, do your latest, latest updates. And you can see from the video there that uh, the GPS is working in connection with the module. Uh, and then also I'm showing a, um, again, it probably needs to be um, calibrated there because I'm about to pull off on the taxiway and my plane was definitely not at that attitude. So uh, just something you want to keep in mind. Uh, constant upgrades are made towards this and make sure that you have a very sturdy mount so um, your Stratus is uh, in the best position it can be to utilize this little module the best it can. So that's it. This is a great upgrade and now I can't really see any difference between having something that costs a couple hundred dollars if you get the entire kit or if you build it yourself, you save a little bit of money, um, as opposed to spending almost a thousand dollars after everything's said and done for the Stratus. So, uh, probably the biggest money saver uh, so far that I've had on the channel is having your own setup so you can see that ADSB in, that traffic, that weather, and now the attitude information. So, hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe up there.